Hello, guys. Uh, I'm Nikolai Wolf. Um, I will be presenting gear to you. I'm not very much a conference visitor myself, let alone speaker, but here anyway. It's like a very big event, and uh, we, we, we need to get people on every one of these locations, so I'm, I'm the one here. So, uh, so uh, what would be, a, like, gear is a modern way, so to speak, uh, modern approach for Polkadot uh, smart contract platform. And uh, what is modern anyway? So uh, modern, uh, by modern we mean parallelizable, shardable, future-proof, uh, uh, such all, all the good stuff. So uh, gear does it. Uh, so Gear does it by introducing uh, Gear protocol. Um, protocol might be a little bit of a used word, but it's just a set of rules. Uh, what, what, uh, what entities we keep on the chain, uh, how do they communicate with each other, and basically a definition of what, what's going on on our platform, because unlike typi typical app-specific uh, chain, Gear allows uh, a anybody to come uh, and upload some piece of code on our platform, and we still don't know in that uh, what, what, what this piece of code will do. Still need to Run it securely and fast, and uh, in a, uh, and fast. And uh, so, to achieve that, uh, we kind of have uh, uh, some design decisions on our protocol. Um, um, and, and this is our design decision. So first of all, all these pieces of code that exist on the, on, on the, on the gear chain and the gear protocol, they're kind of uh, actors in the actor model for communication. So they are communicating with, the, with each other by, by using messages and just that. Uh, next, we use uh, WebAssembly as a, uh, all programs are represented as WebAssembly programs. And uh, obviously, m many people know that we, uh, while we're working in pilot technologies, we were always like, uh, was betting on WebAssembly as a virtual machine of choice for, for decentralized computations. And uh, also, last, uh, we have a persistent memory approach, which kind of removes a lot of complexities uh, and uh, makes the platform easy, easy to develop on. So um, actual, uh, in, in Gear protocol, everything really is an actor. So programs, users, uh, uh, cross-chain endpoints, bridges, uh, uh, everything, any program you upload, uh, once instantiated, it becomes an actor. So any parachain, any bridge, everything becomes an actor. Uh, and we sort of kind of uh, unite everything in, uh, into a synchronous framework. And uh, all communication between them are always asynchronous. But still, still, they're kind of logically guaranteed to be handled at some point of time. They, they might be handled with, with an error, but the, this error will still come at some point anyway. So this kind of provides a uh, unified asynchronous programming experience where you don't need to care what other, con other party you communicate with uh, while developing your application. DAO can be a mem member of another DAO. Uh, another parachain uh, can be also be a member of the DAO along with some users. And, um, uh, they, they can be all be of some, of some part of programmable multi-sig contract. And it's really great for network composability. And the uh, actual model really, uh, it's like well-established field of computer science where it's, uh, it's known to be good for di distributed and parallelizable uh, uh, computations. Uh, so in blockchain, anyway, it doesn't need to be distributed because everybody obviously shares one state. But it does need to be the way, this way. Uh, because uh, actually, using this model, we can actually on s store only s some part of the state uh, on, on each collateral of a letter. And uh, we obviously use WASM. So when it comes, what programs, aka actors, uh, should be represented as a as a, it, it's hard to find more modern way, ways than WebAssembly itself because. Uh, uh, it is, was designed just for, for this case uh, to be a uh, deterministic and uh, deterministic virtual machine and also be, uh, have a native speed. And uh, yeah, it was l like a big collaboration of uh, big players that were developing this virtual machine for browsers. And in browsers, they, they ha had exactly the same case. Like you have a browser and a virtual machine inside it, and it, it's, it should be able to run anything that uh, anybody generates and still do it securely and natively without, without knowing in advance what, what, what this computation would be. And uh, adoption also of single pass compilers these days. We have a WASMR uh, uh, really drives things forward where you have uh, bytecode in deterministic uh, 
that is deterministic across all platforms, and then you get native binary in one goal, and it's really great for uh, untrusted code execution, where you also ha must have linear time compiling these things. And uh, no surprise that Polkadot itself uh, uses WebAssembly, like uh, Polkadot runtime is just a WebAssembly program. Every parachain is a, uh, is a, is a WebAssembly web program. And so last but not least, uh, persistent memory approach is another novelty we bring to the table. So while whereas uh, having WASM an actual model, uh, protocol dictates what actors should look like as a communicating ent ent entities. Persistent memory removes uh, many complexities uh, and maps running programs and their state closer to operating system primitives, even hardwire, hardwire primitives. And, uh, uh, and mem memory allocation and deallocation is done page by page. And, uh, and, and these are first class uh, system calls of the protocols of the gear runtime. And, uh, Memory access is also tracked, like every time program needs to access some of its own memory, it's tracked uh, and it's dispatched as a storage sheet and then kind of, uh, once it's tried something, it's also tracked and only some, um, some small portion of the memory is modified. So we kind of uh, do some tricks with virtual memory and such. So, uh, and that also really allows, uh, like any heap allocation stru structures be preserved. And uh, if you know Rust and Rust futures, for example, they also once heap allocating the whole s state uh, preserved. And uh, you can have a control for all preserved, like, because we have a, um, uh, th there is a possibility to, uh, like, like a post program execution, uh, they can start from some uh, place that is also preserved. Uh, so, um, once we have this gear protocol and it's already kind of feature complete and uh, we are kind of auditing it, we really want to deploy it on, in multiple scenarios. So our, our like a grand goal is to provide utility for the web three, and uh, it can be achieved in a variety of ways. Um, uh, and to achieve that, we deploy it at multiple scenarios. So first of all, uh, standalone network, which is kind of most performant, less, uh, has the least latency and such. And also we go for one or multiple slots on Kusama and one or multiple slots on Polkadot. And, uh, our standalone ne network and the uh, chain candidate is, uh, uh, launching any week now while we see it as mostly as a kind of test bed. Uh, uh, for kind of optimizations, for testing our protocol and such. It, it still has a, a lot of utility and uh, uh, utility probably uh, 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 of, of most performant uh, standalone networks like near, uh, near Solana and then even more of that because of, of, of our parallelizable architecture. And once in life, uh, you can remove all our governance from there and let it like uh, run forever and we'll guarantee that it will never stop. We will never lose any user data and such things. So it will, it, it will become actual network with utility. And it probably will have little or no governance uh, just, just because we don't want to bother with governance. And uh, uh, we also deploy as a one of one or multiple parachain slots on both Kusama and Polkadot. And uh, I obviously don't need to sell Polkadot for you guys here. Uh, but still, remind you, interoperability uh, uh, is, a, uh, is, is a thing where Polkadot really shines. And we will have like all, all connections to other parachains, like to first uh, the, the, the most uh, big ones, um, uh, made uh, into a built-in gear program, which, we, which we, uh, you can communicate with. Uh, like you do it with a regular smart contract, but you will still kind of communicate with a, as a parachain bridge or whatever there is on Polkadot or whatever is coming on Polkadot. So shared security is another great thing about that. So once we deploy a gear protocol on Polkadot, it will immediately become secured by, by, by the whole network uh, as a whole. So like, and also obviously Polkadot is a huge ecosystem. Substrate is a kind of masterpiece of uh, decentralized software. And we want to add another piece of, uh, of uh, infrastructure to that to allow easy, uh, easily to deploy on the whole Polkadot just for by writing like 10 lines of code and uh, to spend like uh, pennies.
And uh, really, it, um, uh, there is ongoing battle for adoptions between different networks. Uh, it's, it's ongoing, and uh, I expect it to be increasing much more in the nearest future, especially in current conditions. And, uh, and really, if you kind of see this big picture, where crypto developers are just uh, you know very small part of the whole kind of developer uh, guys out there in the world, and uh, and uh, it's it, it's a good thing not to cannibalize on this small part of uh, developers by introducing some you know legacy ex uh, execution platform like uh, Solidity or something, uh, but really it's it's good to outreach these big circles over there. Uh, where we make programming experience as 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 close to traditional programming as uh, uh, so, so they can as easy develop for web three as they do it for web two and this is kind of our long term goal and gear and really uh, we, we are people first company who spend like all of our money on uh, on, on people on uh, on, on salaries, on retreats, uh, 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 on everything like that. And um, obviously, if you are a good engineer, feel free to reach me out. Yeah, here are all links. Feel free to follow them. I will leave them there and uh, answer some questions if there are. Where is our question guy? Huh? <laughs> uh, where is Emily? Um, we have any questions? Yes, we do. Um, would Gear uh, or does Gear support trusted execution environments? Uh, which which execution environment? Trusted execution environments, TEs. Oh, like you mean uh, uh, like uh, no? We we, we don't yet let su uh, yet support it, so um, you don't really have any plans for doing it. Uh, and this person said they missed the first half, so maybe you answered it. But how does Gear compare to any um, runtime implementing contracts palettes? Yeah, so uh, like there is a one uh, implementation of smart contracts uh, which is called INC and it's developed in parity and many kind of parachains try to, well, I mean, add it, add it as, a, as a palette to the network. Uh, but uh, it, it has a com completely different execution model, whereas uh, INC is more traditional, like AVM, like call model. In Gear, you have this actor model when the, uh, when, when the uh, and gear programs really don't share any state. They can only handle messages and generate, generate messages of their own. And, uh, and this gives us uh, things that I talked about, like parallelizable uh, execution, shardable storage, uh, and everything like this. So we are kind of improving on, on, like, improving on that. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Nikolay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.